Hi folks, hope you're okay today. It's good to be with you. I'm in Cheetah Mill today. It's not a good day to be out. It's freezing cold, it's about to rain. But the enemy's been trying to keep me at home and I've just thought I've got to get out. So I'm in Cheetah Mill. Uh, that's the microphone. And uh, So yeah, the enemy's been having a go. Every time I've been wanting to come out preaching, this dark cloud has come over my head. And uh, it's been terrible, really. Um, Spurgeon uh, suffered from that kind of spiritual uh, depression. So it's been, it's been difficult. Um, but we're now going to uh, start preaching uh, the Word of God. So uh, just got to keep going. Got to keep pressing on. Got to keep preaching the gospel. And uh, I believe there's a literal hell. And so. Uh, I've just got to get out and, and get the gospel out to people, you know. Uh, if I believe there's a hell, I've got to get out, so, okay. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess. Are you? Testing, testing, one, two, three. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess. That Jesus Christ is Lord. He is Lord. See, it's raining. He is Lord. He is risen from the dead. And He is Lord. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue confess. That Jesus Christ is Lord, He is Lord, He is Lord, He is risen from the dead, and He is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. He is Lord, He is Lord, He is risen from the dead, and He is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, He is Lord. He is Lord, He is risen from the dead, and He is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. We look at today at Lazarus. Uh, Lazarus was a rich guy. In Luke chapter 16, he was a rich guy, and as a rich guy, he didn't help the poor, he didn't care about the poor, he was not bothered about the poor, and when he died, he was in hell. He was in hell, and he was complaining and wanted help. He was complaining and wanted help. He was complaining and wanted help. Help to get out of hell. But he couldn't get out of hell. He was stuck. And he said to Abraham, give me some water. But even there, Abraham could not come to him. Abraham could not give him water. 
He said a great gulf is between us, between you and us. And so in hell there is a great gulf between those who are separated from God and those who are with God. It's a terrible place. <coughs> Lazarus then said, go and tell my brothers. But Abraham said, they're not believe even if they saw resurrection. <coughs> because, because they have the law and the prophets, if they do not hear the law and the prophets, then they'll not believe. And in our hearts, and in your heart, and my heart, we are all sinners. The Bible says, all fall short of the glory of God. We all fall short of the glory of God, my friend. Every single one of us is a sinner. Every single one of us has been separated from God. We are alienated from God. We are separated from God. And in that separation, man cannot do anything. Man cannot change his situation. Man cannot do anything. He is weak, frail, and he is powerless to fight against sin. Sin has gripped him. Sin has pulled him down. Sin has taken him down. Sin has broken him. And when Adam and Eve fell, they fell from a state of grace and they fell into misery. And there it says that they experienced death. They were cut off from God, cut off from His blessing. But even then, God was merciful. Even then, God was kind. Even then, God was gracious. For God had a plan, a plan to save humanity. And that plan was Jesus Christ. That plan was Christ. There, Christ was prophesied in the Old Testament that He would come. The types in the Old Testament, where they had the tabernacle, where they had the high priest, where they had the sacrifices of the lambs. All these were prophecies that the Messiah would come. And the Messiah would come and be a saviour to all mankind. And so Christ came. And when He came, in Mark chapter 10, He said, I give my life a ransom for many. There, He saw His life as a sacrifice. And when He was before, He was arrested in the Garden of Gethsemane, there, he prayed great sweats of blood. There he was in agony in the garden. He was in agony in the garden. For he knew that he was going to take the sin of sinners. He knew that he was going to die on the sinner's behalf. And he prayed great sweats of blood. He, sway, he prayed great sweats of blood. Great sweats of blood, my friends. Born from Jesus Christ. But he knew what he was going to get into. He knew that he was going to suffer for sinners. And at that point, as he was arrested, and as he was taken into the courtyard, and as they began to whip him, and as they began to mock him, mock him Jesus Christ was dying for hell deserving sinners. Hell deserving sinners. He was dying for hell deserving sinners. But you and I are hell deserving sinners. The reason why we are hell deserving sinners is because sin cuts us off from God. Sin cuts us off from God. And God cannot look upon sin. For God is a holy God. And God is a great God. And God is a mighty God. And He will not have sin in His presence. We think crime is bad. We think if somebody murders is bad. We think if someone who rapes is bad. But God regards sin as even worse. For sin is rebellion against God. Sin is rebellion against His Word. Sin is standing against the living God. And yet God, in His love and mercy, sent His Son to be a sacrifice for you and me. 
Jesus Christ was a great sacrifice. A sacrifice for you. The Son of God shed His blood and was sacrificed upon that cross to save you from hell and the wrath to come. There is no other way to be saved. Every other prophet that has taught you to turn away from Jesus Christ as the Son of God is a liar. Every cult that has taught you to believe that Jesus is not the Son of God is a liar. Every argument from the flesh of man and secularism that has taught you to believe that when you die that is all that is, that you die and go to the ground, they are lying. For when we die, man will rise again and they will rise to the judgment. That is a judgment day and that judgment day will be a fierce day of wrath where God will take his vengeance upon mankind. Where God will come with a sword of vengeance and bring vengeance upon his enemies for those who've mocked his son and those who've attacked and murdered his people, the children of God. So now is the time to repent. Now is the time to turn away from all our sin. To turn away from all that is evil to turn away from all that is wicked and for all of us to prostrate before God and say, Lord, forgive me, I am chief of sinners. I am the greatest of sinners. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Until we come to that position in our lives where we say, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. We will never find salvation. We will never find God until we come to that conclusion and we say, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Until we come to that conclusion, until we come to that position where we realize we're undone, where we realize we are sinners, deserving the wrath of God and the hell, unless we realize that and know that Jesus came and was crushed on our behalf, we will never find salvation. For the fire of God is a fire, a consuming fire. For God is a holy God and will not look upon sin. God hates sin. He hates it with a great fire and a great fierceness. For God is a God of fire, a holy God who hates sin. But in His hatred of sin, Rather than send you and I to hell, He sent His Son, Jesus Christ, who suffered the torment for us, there in the garden of Gethsemane, mocked and humiliated, laughed at and mocked. There He was whipped. There they put a crown of thorns upon His head. And there they laughed at Him. There they mocked Him. And they humiliated Him. And they put a crown of thorns upon his head. But as he was dying, as they nailed him to that cross, and as he was dying on that cross, he was dying to save you. He was crushed for our iniquities. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we are healed. There is no other way to heaven but repentance. There is no other way to heaven but to cry out for mercy. To repent and cry out and say, Lord, have mercy upon me. Lord, have mercy upon me. I am a sinner. And I need your mercy. I need your grace. I need your son. Lord, have mercy. And if you do not cry out to God, and if you do not bow in mercy and say, Lord, have mercy upon me, then a fiery judgment awaits you. And that fire no man will stand. That fire man will not be able to put up with. For it is the fierce anger of an almighty God who will crush and punish sin, punish rebellion in his kingdom. For God will not have rebellious sinners nor rebellious spirits in his presence. 
for God will bring glory to his name and glory to himself and he will save those who will hear him he will save those who hear his call Jesus said come to me all you who are weak and weary and I will give you rest take my yoke upon me and learn of me for my yoke is easy and my burden is light Jesus burden is light for he is a merciful savior a merciful Lord a merciful King he is one who shed his blood all oh, the deep deep blood of Jesus vast and measured boundless free rolling as a mighty ocean in its fullness over me he was crushed God demonstrated his own love to us that while we were yet sinners Christ died for us do you want to spend life in hell do you want to spend your life in eternity in hell is that what you want you want to burn forever in torment forever is that what you want do you want to be cut off from the presence of God forever is that what you want do you want to be in the flames of torment where God will judge you forever and ever and punish you because you rebelled against him is that what you want is that really where you want to go is that really what you want for to reject God and his message is to choose hell it is to choose damnation it is to choose the wrath of God upon the goodness of God is that what you want for yourself is that where you want to go do you really want to go to hell do you really want to spend time in hell is that what you really want to do to sell your birthright for nothing to sell your eternal destiny for nothing do you really really want to go to hell because if you reject the Messiah Jesus Christ then hell awaits you God bless you if you reject the Messiah then hell awaits you for nobody can save you but him he says in Matt in Ma in John chapter 14 says I am the way the truth and the life no one can come to the Father but through me no one can come to the Father but through me he is the Alpha and the Omega he is the beginning of the end he is the Messiah the Savior who has come to save you today you have a choice today to kiss the Son and believe in him and believe that he died for you and believe that he shed his blood for you and believe that he's your Messiah you have a choice to believe in him and have faith in him or to reject him and experience the torment of hell and the wrath of God you are called now to repent you're called and commanded by God to repent thou shall not kill you should not look upon a man or a woman with hatred in your heart. You should not look upon a man or woman with anger in your heart. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not steal. You should not steal from the tax man. No stealing. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Can't even look at a woman in lust, let alone commit adultery. Thou shall have no other gods before me. There is only one living God, and every other God is a false God. The false God of materialism, the false gods of religion, the false God of the cults. There is only one true living God. No other God but the living God. No other God but Jehovah Jireh. No other God but Yahweh. No other God but the living God of the Jewish people only one God and only one God are we to worship and only one God are we to adore and only one God are we to praise and this God commands you today to repent you are to repent and if you do not repent you are a rebel in the kingdom of God 
If you do not repent, you are in open rebellion. In open rebellion against God. If you do not repent, you will not be blessed, but you will be cursed on the day of judgment. You have to repent and believe in Jesus. You have to repent and believe in Jesus Christ. Repentance means turning away from your sin. It means crying out to the Savior. It means turning away from that which is evil and turning to that which is good, which is the living God. He has offered you His salvation and He has offered you His grace. It is up to you now to believe. It is up to you now to find salvation. And if you mock, and if you laugh, and if you ignore, may it be known that you have chosen hell and the wrath to come. But if you be humble, and if you confess, and if you believe in Jesus Christ, and know that Christ died on that cross for you, then you have chosen eternal salvation. You have chosen life everlasting. You have chosen a heaven rather than hell. The salvation is there for you, my friend. He beckons you to come and drink of eternal life. He beckons you to come and drink of all that he asks for you today. Come, buy. Those who have no money, you don't have to pay. It's free. You don't have to give anything. It's free. It is a free gift to you today. A free gift of salvation. It is a free gift of goodness. It is a free gift of eternal life. It is a free gift, my friend. So come. Come. You may not feel that you can come. You may feel that you are not worthy to come. Well, you are not worthy, but come. Come as you are. Come with your rags, come in your emptiness, come in your need. And as you come to Jesus, He will forgive you. As you come to Jesus, He will cleanse you. As you come to Jesus, He will welcome you with open arms. He will show you His love and mercy. He will show you His grace and love. Come, come with your burden of sin, come with your burdens. And He will forgive you today, come. And He will show you His grace, come. And he will forgive you. Come, whoever you are. And he will forgive you today. Don't put it off. Don't put it off, my friend. But come. Come whether you're a child. Come whether you're elderly. Come whether you're middle-aged. Come whether you're a Muslim or a Jew. Come whether you're... Well, whatever your sexual orientation, come. Come. Come to Christ. Suffer little children to come unto me, it says. It says, come unto me all you who are weak and heavy laden and I will give you rest. Come. He says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep, so come. He beckons you to come to him and to know his love and mercy, to know his grace and to know his salvation. Come. Come and know His love. Come and know His grace. Come and know His mercy. The Savior will never cast you out if you come to Him. The Savior will never push you away if you come to Him. The Savior will only cleanse you and wash you. The Savior will only forgive you if you come. But you have to come by faith. Faith in Him. Faith in His excellency. Faith in Him who is the Son of God. Faith in Him who is the King of Kings. Faith in Him who every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. You have to come and believe Him. You have to believe His words. You have to believe Him that He is the Messiah. Come and believe in Him. He awaits for you to come. He longs that you will come. And remember that this world is passing away. And He has prepared a place in heaven for you, if only you would come. If only you would believe. There is a place in heaven for you today, if only you would believe in Him. But it's not by man's ability, not by your ability, not by your wisdom, not by what you can do. It is all what God has done for you.
God has paid your debt. He's paid your debt in full with the blood of his own son. His own son perished for you. God bless you, bro. God bless you. Just, how are you, sir? I'm okay, thank you. God bless you. God bless you. You are recording for case police people come I, I record it for police, but also it yeah. goes on YouTube as oh, well. Yeah, but it's not pointing to you, so... Yes, no. I know. It's, it's okay. I'm, I'm not worried. It, it's for our protection because, you know, the police goes around to try to intimidate uh, yes. creatures or something like yes, that. Yes, yes, There was a case of... Uh, there was even on the YouTube, a, my, a young guy in uh, somewhere I don't... part of England, he went to preach. They came to harass me, including the... You know, this homosexual love. Oh, yes, they yes. Were very decent. So they came around to harass him, but he knows what to have to do. And he was on camera, he was telling the police. So they backed off and he continued his preaching. So I like this very decent. Oh, you yeah. Have, uh, you, 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 you are equipped, it's on camera. So the, anybody trying to intimidate the very decent will be caught on camera. Amen. Thanks, so God bless you, sir. God bless you, bro. God, God bless, bless you. I just um, went somewhere in a, in Prince I just want to buy something here and then yes. I'll be back very this. I don't uh, do you normally go out ever? I mean I want to know, do you have your this I want to keep I mean because I'm looking for a partner that I can uh, Yeah um, do you have um, a card or maybe um, your address or your phone very Okay. Uh see what I just uh, did you did you hold that? Okay. Um, see what I, uh, I can hold that for you. Can you, can you hold that? Thank you. I normally bring out, but I'll, I'll give you. Uh, okay. I'll give you my mobile. Okay. Okay. Can I give you my mobile? You just ring my mobile number. Okay. You ring my mobile. Okay. So I, 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 I well, okay. I just, uh, I'll turn this off so nobody knows what the phone is. Okay. 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 Ok